Be warned that if this process fails, your motherboard may be useless. The first thing you need to do is click on the support link at the top of the page. Then you need to choose the driver OS, in my case it is Windows 10 64-bit. Now go to the BIOS section and click it. Choose the download link nearest to your location and set the zip file into your hard drive. Next you need to unzip the contents of the file inside a thumb drive. You are going to need this to restart your computer. During the reboot screen, you need to press the end key in order to enter the QFlash app. Here, click the update BIOS button. And now look for the file inside the thumb drive. This is the BIOS file. Click the right red arrow and then press to start. This is going to take a while, so just wait. If this process is interrupted, your motherboard is going to die and it's not going to be useful anymore. You need to be patient. When the process is about to end, the motherboard is going to shut down itself and reboot. If everything went well, you are going to be able to see the gigabyte boot off screen again. And that's it, you just updated successfully the BIOS of your computer. Congratulations.